Peacemaker episode 1 to 3 has released on HBO Max and for me it is a mostly good spin-off show for John Cena's character. The Suicide Squad spin-off is a series that appropriately doesn't take itself too seriously, but while I really enjoy the entertainment on show, I do think a majority of the first three episodes were lacking a story punch, but one that could come in later episodes because of episode 3's ending. Still, like I say, I am really enjoying the entertainment and elements of James Gunn's signature style, so hopefully it will all come together as more episodes come out. This video is a spoiler free review of the first three episodes of the new DCEU show, so don't worry if you haven't seen it already. But before I get into my thoughts, if you want to see more videos on the upcoming episodes of Peacemaker, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram at Cortex Videos which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's dive into my spoiler-free review for Peacemaker Episode 1 to 3. So Peacemaker is an unexpected spin-off series for James Gunn's 2021 film The Suicide Squad, and this new action comedy show puts Christopher Smith, the Peacemaker, played by John Cena, on another mission with some familiar characters from the film and some other new ones. It's a weird show in that it acts like a side mission which is less ambitious, less comedic, and has less action, but it is mostly enjoyable from what I've seen so far. One of the stronger elements of this show is how John Cena brings cartoonish charm to the TV landscape, one that is perfect for a musclehead superhero who thinks that the best way to achieve peace is to kill all of the people trying to stop him. And he's assisted by some enjoyable characters, but ones that aren't really explored to the fullest, nor do they work as well as the more colourful characters around him in the Suicide Squad. Now every episode does have its own clever twist, and there are some really comedic scenes in there for Cena to play off the other characters. But after the first three episodes, I'm still left asking myself, does Peacemaker need his own show? Well, so far, not really, and this mainly comes from a plot perspective, and also through the fact that when we explore Peacemaker and his troubled character, it feels like it's more of the same from this type of deconstructing comic book property. Stuff here has been seen in shows like Amazon's The Boys, or even Watchmen, and the comedic approach feels more in tune with what we saw in Deadpool. But like I said, this is entertaining, and the main thing I can critique is that we've basically seen seen it done before and done better. Of course, this is only for the first three episodes, and after an introduction of a greater plot in episode three, this could all change. Still, when looking at the time we have spent with this character, it's focused on his same set of immature preferences, and other characters bicker like kids who need to be separated, constantly bringing up flaws about each other's equally ridiculous viewpoints. Gunn's hypercharged sensibility of violence is on display in decent fashion, and I cannot not mention the lengthy opening titles in which the cast do a hilarious dance. This is all supported by Gunn's usual love of music with a soundtrack that taps into the metal and 80s style guitar. So for the most part, it's pretty good, and it hasn't lost my attention when it comes to watching later episodes. I just hope we get more development of the plot and a unique spin on some of the introduced themes. Coming now to more of that mentioned plot, if you remember, Peacemaker was virtually dead at the end of the Suicide Squad, but after being brought back to life and given another chance, he ends up being forced to work with members of the team who overthrew Amanda Waller at the end of the film, including Economos and Harcourt, along with new members which include the stoic leader Mern and Adi Bayou. And then there's Peacemaker's animal sidekick Eagly, who so far has made quite cute and funny appearances. 
It's not too long before Peacemaker and his team of outcasts stumble upon an alien threat, allowing James Gunn's lunacy to come out. But having said that, the opening three episodes don't quite match the craziness of the film that inspired it. And when it does go off the rails in a particular action scene at the end of the first episode, it does come to life, but in a way that makes Peacemaker more chatty than ever before. While you have to maintain a sense of pace with dialogue, this character doesn't necessarily call for too much of that at every given moment, and the series definitely suffers from a traditional modern Hollywood problem, where it seems a little thin in plot and repetitive for its overall running time. But I will say that at least the filler in these episodes is quite entertaining and hilarious. Freddy Stromer is great as Vigilante, another sidekick to Peacemaker, that may not be needed so far from a plot point of view, but his character does provide an interesting addition from a commentary standpoint, and again from a comedic structure. He's like a sort of superfan who decided he wanted to go on killing sprees with his favourite hero. So the side characters are decent with some strong additions, but like I was saying, this show really excels with John Cena's main character character. The one primary theme that I gather will be touched on more as the season goes on seems to be about Peacemaker realising that he has no peace in his life, not because of the world around him, but because of how he grew up. Early on, the performance of his despicable father plants this idea firmly, and the subplots with other members of the squad such as the disrespected tech whiz Economos and that of Adi Bayou just seem like they are going nowhere. The more personal offering of these plots is distracting more than it is character exploration. So I'm hoping that as we go on, with Cena himself being the strongest part, that we get more of that deeper analysis behind how he became Peacemaker. He's of course well suited as a comedic performer, but this stuff becomes more repetitive and it all needs further motivation in the weeks to come. Coming now to James Gunn, I was really looking forward to this because as a director, I think he always strikes the right balance between humour, action and emotional heart. But in the first three episodes, his directing is a less satisfying in-between, too direct at times to be showy and too low in scale to reach the height of other superhero shows or series in general. Gunn does work well in compact situations, but the TV landscape seems quite unfamiliar for him as a storyteller and a somewhat creative of action. Peacemaker is trying to fill its episodes with a feature's worth of subplots, whether it's Peacemaker's quips with the crew, his vigilante, and the central plot of the so-called aliens seems to have only just entered the frame. While entertaining, it makes the episodes feel quite thin, and the true tone of it all is something I think needs more work in the episodes to come. The humour is hit and miss at times too, and while it's similar in that regard to The Suicide Squad, the director focused more on the childish gags. Yes, Peacemaker is at times hilarious, but there might be too many poop jokes to count. Still, there is plenty of drama, and I just think that in the episodes to come, it needs to be better paced and really work around that mentioned primary plotline. Like I was hinting at before though, an infuse of Peacemaker's sympathetic side is something that surprisingly is working well. We haven't seen much of it, but when we do, it makes the character more relatable than he was in the original film. Yes, he's still poking fun at Economos's beard, but he has moments where he seems slightly more reflective. Episode 2 opens with him scrambling to cope with the bad decisions he made at the end of the previous episode. But it also goes beyond that within the genre to reckon with the more controversial themes. A running gag here is that some think Peacemaker is racist, even though he points out that he's killed a fair amount of white people too. Peacemaker comes across as more clueless than anything, but that's actually shown as a disappointment to his father, who plays a quite sinister character. And with this being the reason why Peacemaker has become the way he has, it leaves opportunities for Gunn to explore this deeper in later episodes, creating a central drive. At its core, it's a story about a damaged man doing his best to escape his lifetime formula and become a better person from it, even if he maintains that typical persona we know and want. 
With this being pushed to the sidelines in the opening episodes, I'm just left wondering from a character perspective, will this project be necessary? I hope this question will be answered in the coming weeks and prove me wrong, and I hope it's done in a way that adds to the superhero genre and isn't something that becomes predictable. That being said, I trust that James Gunn will balance this approach out and deliver something quite great. Still, it's entertaining and John Cena may be the next performer to succeed at being a wrestler turned actor. But that was my spoiler free review of Peacemaker episode 1 to 3. Overall, this new show from James Gunn seems enjoyable enough to be an entertaining distraction, but at times I wonder if it might end up being slightly forgettable because of its so far thin plot. But this might change in episodes to come, and Peacemaker's likeable idiot is quite easy to attach to and effortless to spend time with. Now, I can't quite attach to some of the show's other characters as much, and even when Peacemaker delivers his usual clownery, it would have worked better alongside more characters who are equally as eccentric. The Suicide Squad worked for this very reason in film form, and the show doesn't quite deliver on its themes as well as, say, Amazon's The Boys, or even in its humour as much as the comparative Deadpool. James Gunn is aiming for a subversive superhero show using excessive violence and questionable humour to deconstruct the genre, and the opening three episodes offer a goofy telling of vigilanteism while hinting at bigger plots to come. If they can deliver on these introduced plots, then it will be all the better for it. But so far, it is a mostly enjoyable show for the character, and John Cena breathes life into a series that would have been less strong without him. I'm giving Peacemaker episode 1 to 3 a rating of 7.75 out of 10. But to those who have already seen the opening episodes, what do you think of James Gunn's new comic book show and do you agree with some of the points I have raised? Again, it's all subjective and I understand that there will be many differing reactions and reviews, but let me know down below in the comment section what you personally thought towards the start of the series, alongside things that stood out with your first impressions. For lots more videos surrounding Peacemaker over the next few weeks, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.